Last week in one of the videos, I had suggested an alternate strategy to averaging. I loosely called it laddering, and there was a huge response from all the viewers who wanted to understand about their favorite stock. The list was huge. I have picked two stocks in this video: Indusind Bank, which fell in a heap, three lower circuits in a single day, and BPCL, which, despite the good results, was beaten down severely. Now this is the graph of Indusind stock since 2017. The pandemic fall did not spare anyone. It was almost like the world is coming to an end. Indusind stock was approximately around 1600 levels. The bottom of the pandemic was approximately 350 to 400 levels. Of course, nearly the entire world recovered soon after the pandemic. Indusind also went to 1041. That is 2.5x returns for people who dared to invest when it seemed that the world would come to an end now note that despite this rise the bank consolidated for a very very long period then there was a rally 1000 to 1600 that is again a 60% gain for all investors before i talk about some of the points let me quickly take you through the fidi numbers promoters stake which is hindujas primarily that is same fis have reduced their stake by more than 4% public also has sold dis have bought the bank in a quarter when npas are rising in a quarter when the bank is not looking good dis bought the stock before it hit the lower circuit now there are certain systematic problems going on in the country which is not specific to indusind bank all banks are suffering one is job situation there are now two problems one is the youngest people which is say 18 to 22 year old there is a bigger problem which no one is talking about suddenly people after 45 to 50 years of age they are no longer required in the workforce this is becoming a bigger problem because these people were in a high income group and they suddenly are unemployed or trying best to survive somehow their consumption is going to cease no one is even talking about this problem in an year of elections everyone was encouraged in the banking industry to give individual loans so the economy is good people have money in the hand people spend all that happened perfectly now how to repay those loans that is because consumption is happening without earnings to justify the consumption people are buying say cell phones televisions computers laptops without having income to support it pay the emis that to multiple emis zero cost emis also most banks have been suffering with expensive casa this is a problem that rbi as well as finance ministry has been trying hard to solve now bank specific problems the merger this is my personal opinion went wrong bank has had several regulatory issues of their own as well as in the microfinance arm most of them are now sorted out however that was a longish period think about it you are living in a house you are having electrical issues you change all the switches wiring mcbs everything and after 2 years and a handsome expense the problems are still there so obviously we didn't fix the right problems meanwhile what has also happened public confidence has reduced which means people are a little uncertain you might have seen that happen when yes bank had a crisis when people are not sure they don't put a lot of money in the bank the npas are rising again the npas were high here it took the bank several years to clean it out everyone who is into unsecured loans has this problem once you have had a bad quarter or two you need five quarters to clean out this entire crap from your balance sheet in terms of eps this is my personal opinion this may have changed significantly in last few years in fact this is a problem with most private sector banks which is surprising the spending on it beat infrastructure or it people is low and i have spent time with several banks in the country directly or from vendor side all right let's jump to numbers this line is too far off 400 i don't think this will be tested this particular line of 600 is next that's long term not short term followed by approximately speaking 850 right now we are at 1050 so for now let's treat this particular step of the ladder which is around 850 as the bottom so worst case 
I personally feel that the bank may fall to this level only, which means few more candles here. which would take it down 20 more percent now tomorrow could be a green day markets look good and there could be a recovery of 5 10% maybe 15% also that's a dead cat bounce or a trading bounce whatever you know call it but that may be followed by further selling see the selling here on friday 17x the usual volumes people dumped the stock mutual funds have already bought a lot they have increased their stake I am not too sure if they will be interested in buying lot more. And note that when these kind of falls happen, RSI's don't matter. So don't think that we are in oversold zone. So there should be a bounce back from trading perspective. Would I buy the stock right now? I don't think so. Nothing is looking like giving a buy sign for me. The stock, even if it recovers, it will get into a range like it got here, and that could be a fifty hundred point range. It will need two or three strong quarters to get out of it. now the stress is coming from the microfinance arm perhaps maybe from the auto division also that pressure may continue for at least one or two quarters i am not too optimistic if the next quarter would be any better so if you already own the stock you will be looking at red or reduced profits if you bought very low for some time should you exit maybe it is a little late to exit right now because a bounce is around the corner rest fi's will decide their selling is not stemming at all if you want to take long term positions then this is the ladder to start accumulating which is roughly 850 now 850 is not an absolute number this is the range think of it more like 850 to 900 maybe once it comes back and retest the current levels of around 1000 1050 that can be another level of buying maybe after that if the stock recovers it should probably go up a lot these are the levels probably where it will meet resistance which is around 1400 yes it would be choppy there will be obviously profit bookings and all in between but after 1050 you are looking at roughly 30 40 50% kind of gains indus in retesting the recent highs of 1700 kinds i am not very sure it will happen in the next 2 or 3 years for now for people who are not owning the stock maybe it will be better to stay out this is at least my stand i don't own the bank right now it will probably become sell on each rise for some time now in this graph this blue line is brent crude remember pandemic time crude was selling at a negative value this was the time when bpcl was approximately 100 bucks right now it is giving a dividend of 15 20 rupees an year now when crude goes up bpcl goes down crude up bpcl down bpcl was consolidating for nearly 2 years now look at the rise of bpcl here this is where the public sector companies went through the roof all of them crude also was range bound now crude has actually fallen there are two major wars going on still crude is down obviously bpcl went up the peak was around 375 it is at 306 which is approximately 25 to 30% fall so is the stock worth or not to buy right now let me first remove the crude now support zone wise 150 is the ultimate support i don't think we are falling 50% the next one is around 280 which is just 20 25 bucks down this is doable this may happen in a day or two if fi is continue to sell just one or two candles are needed to reach there one thing you should note is the huge amount of dividends the government has regularly collected because government is the major stakeholder in bpcl the promoter is the government president of india owns bpcl fi is own 15% this is slightly increased in the september quarter dis also have increased slightly public has sold off even if fi sell 10 billion dollar more do you think the crude consumption in the country will go down will petrol sell less now systematic problems for bpcl iocl hpcl all of them have these common middle east war the war usually whenever something really bad happens in the war the crude prices go up internationally spike 5 7% 10% suddenly this is good for refiners this is bad for omcs or oil marketing companies bpcl is an omc it is also a refiner so it is a little confusing to evaluate this stock for everyone Petro dollar is going on for a while. US is threatening everyone. Trump has already said, "When I come to power, everyone who is trading outside petro dollar, I will punish them." Now to beat that and EU sanctions, the BRIC countries are coming up with new arrangements. 
it is still being formalized but 100 plus countries are supporting that arrangement because that helps them avoid the sanctions of us and eu russian imports while it is good in general because they are slightly priced low and they are in rubles that also creates a problem because what currency will you trade in you need a balance of trade between ruble and rupee also the prices of russian crude is not known at all to retail investors so it becomes very difficult to evaluate whether the profit will be high or low iran imports india does import a lot of crude from iran also iran and israel's war is heating up like anything iran has always been under sanctions india buy from iran this part is a little dodgy and uncertain right now bpcl specific problems elections they were not allowed to increase the prices of the product that is when crude was high so the losses were there or profit was less this has become a two quarter problem already the good part is that elections are done state elections are still there but while crude is low they are not lowering the prices in the country they are selling petrol diesel at high prices they are recovering from the losses of last two quarters which is good or bad for the stock and investors government alignment so for example just before maharashtra election if they are asked to lower the price of petrol by 5 rupees they will have to lower it that alignment does not care for shareholder value inventory created huge problem in this particular quarter i think it will create a upside in the next quarter now what if they buy even more crude they might increase the inventory then it will bring down the balance sheet of q3 also that is not in your and my control high dividend currently 7% is approximately the dividend yield roughly 33% of the earnings is given to shareholders so think of it like a fixed deposit maybe this is the impact of the results 5% down for bpcl this is the crude graph this is the bpcl graph this is the dividend yield nearly 7% p ratio not absurd about 7 this is the level where probably the laddering can start somewhere around 280 290 225 probably is the level to which max this stock will fall that is if markets fall for another month probably the entire november then we could see these levels this will become averaging in that case not laddering however continued buying can happen probably at a fall of every 25 30 point that's what i intend to do as the stock goes up there is actually not much to cover about 75 points this this stock can cover in 3 days time so probably buy at every 20 rupee kind of thing but again if you are looking at good dividend yield to be a part of your portfolio then buy in these levels this is a candidate for averaging maybe not laddering i am probably going to buy a bit more tomorrow day after if the prices are supportive markets are down if this is already a 5 10% then i might reconsider what could go wrong crude prices going up domestic prices reducing this would mostly be because of elections i don't think there is any pressure from evs as of now there are two more opportunities there is a good capex going on in bpcl there is good debt on the balance sheet they could also use the current cash flow excessive profit to reduce the debt which will increase the profitability in the long run and the eps will go up a lot i right now have holdings in bpcl ioc as well as hpcl i also have good stocks of ril and mrpl which are essentially refiners ril obviously is a conglomerate keep an eye on crude meanwhile that determines the future of this entire pack hope this information was useful let me know in comment section your views also i have already has a list of stocks that were asked for earlier if there are more stocks then let me know in the comment section whichever stock has higher number of comments i'll try and cover that earlier thanks for watching i will see you next time